to uh, Decor Dream. This is the show that we really look forward to because Benjamin Moore is really on the pulse of what is going on, what is trendy. It's our trend show. Sharon Greck is here. And Benjamin Moore. Hello. Sharon, I hope blue is in because we're oh, both yeah. rocking the blue. Exactly. That I better be put one of the trends here. <laughs> Of course it is. Good. You know, I love the 2017 trends probably more than any other year, I have okay. to say, personally, because it's all about color. It's all about lots of dark color. And I know that a lot of us have been talking about that yes. on City Line for the past few months, but we've got 23 colors. We've already talked nice. about our color of the year, but I really wanted to take this chance to talk about all the other colors because there's something for everyone. It's the drama of it. You know, when you when you get a dark color, you're really committing and you're, right. you're saying that I'm okay. I'm all right with the drama. I'm either going to go with contrast or I'm going to layer it up, but there is something very soothing about dark colors. There really is. And I think that people have a set idea of what a particular color might actually feel like or what style it's going to only work with. And that's what we really want to try and do is show how colors can work really well with different styles it's all about what you do with them whether you layer right. them exactly so okay. I wanted to work with this set and really showcase my personal favorite colors from the palette yeah so I love Etruscan and I know whenever we talk about favorite colors I always say my favorite color is orange but not pumpkin orange not bright orange but this honestly I've used this color Etruscan so many times mm -hmm. interior exterior so I was very excited to have it back in the 2017 <laughs> trends this it's year. now like even your hair you're right. Right? <laughs> like, You're right. she really likes it. You wear your colors. Right? When I think so. of you, Sharon, what I think all the time is very earth. earthy. So you've got that earth, you're grounded, and, and that's what you see in this whole, uh, this whole palette. You're right. And there is definitely this reference in the color trends right now, and in fashion, and in music, yes. and everything. A nod to the 60s, a nod to 60s yes. color design, to, to fashion. And so I really wanted to pull that together with sort of a little reimagined mid-century modern look. Absolutely. Without it being too over the top so right. the thing I love about Etruscan is it's very it's very warm and it's almost a neutral right. so it's got a lot of gold bronze copper but it can kind of set off other colors so mm -hmm. when I walked into EQ3 I have to say I saw this sofa and I was like okay that is it that's the catalyst for my set isn't it great like it's it almost feels like felt you know what like it, it is that it nubby, is it it's 70% reclaimed wool oh that's so, so cool. it's a beautiful like it's so it's soft comfy. you just want to sit in it you want you want to touch it and mm -hmm. I that's exactly Exactly it. So certainly the color, but the texture also drew me in big time. And it's kind of this nod to the avocado green from the 60s, yes, it but is. it's a little more sophisticated because it's got more black in it. Right. And okay, you're not going to believe this, but it happened to be very close to guacamole, which yes, is it one is. of the colors in the palette. So so that's this one over exactly. here. Exactly. I love a guac. Usually I love it on a plate, but it's nice me on a too. wall too. <laughs> me too. That's great nice wall color. color. And you're going to see a little bit more of that color um, on the wall. But again, I kind of like that spin on. On those retro colors but making it a little bit more for today for 2017 a little bit more sophisticated because we know all these colors were huge in the in like the 70s 60s but when we look back at it now we're like gross so you have to find a way to elevate it to and elevate make it 2017 it. so it's a streamlined it's a little gross, gross. <laughs> yeah well, I didn't put harvest this gold. is nice now yeah there's no right? harvest gold I kept it kind of common monochromatic really yeah. because I've got sort of the Etruscan color in the leather top chair it's but the beautiful. lines are also very simple yes um, with EQ3 I also picked the rug from there. Nice. Everything in this set is from EQ3. And talking about mid-century modern, mm, that's the, the table. classic Noguchi table. I mean, it, it it works in so many different styles since yes. the you know late 40s. So I had to put that in here as well because you mix in a little bit of the wood. We were talking about sort of rustic, a little um, a little more earthy. Right. And again, a reclaimed teak table mm -hmm. but it's a little more refined with the steel legs so everything's kept pretty pretty simple and and clean line and another thing that we're seeing in trends and I know Shai and I were talking about this a little while ago in the show is bringing in the green so we've right. got lots of overscaled plants we're really you know bringing in the um, bringing in green not just in a color but in the real greens <laughs> we yeah. eat greens and we want to um, accessorize with the green people want more of this in their life I think that's what happens when you you're you know you're feeling very disconnected from a nature. Yes. I can't tell you the amount of hours we spent on this show trying to teach me how to not kill plants. Yes, on the same so way. This, believe me. Like I hope this is my season <laughs> and this is my year to keep them it alive is. because this is gorgeous Isn't in it a gorgeous? space. Yeah. And when you bring in real life, I also thought rather than a real you know 60s graphic print, sometimes.
something else that makes things feel nice. a little more contemporary is this is a gorgeous piece of original art from Canvas Gallery. And again, it ties mm. in all the colors. It references the landscape, but again, it's a little bit more abstracted, so it's really just about the color play. So right. I thought that really pulled everything together. So nice. I love Canvas Gallery. Me I too. really do. <laughs>